So hey, this is Kevin from JJ Hat Center, um, Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Uh, I'm working at this shop almost 25 years, uh, since 94, actually 24 years. The shop is open since 1911, uh, over 100 years. And, uh, we, you know, it's safe to say we've seen all kinds of hats go through here. We do all the movies and Broadway shows, uh, celebrities all come here. We're very famous for having authentic, real deal stuff. Um, the owner knows her stuff. She is the right on the ball. Uh, I, I know my stuff, uh, you know, like a guy who works in place for 24 years does. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about Panama hats. Um, what's a Panama hat? A Panama hat is a hat, it's a summer hat made of straw that is woven by hand, hand woven, you know, like needlepoint. You start in the middle and you weave, going outwards in concentric circles, concentric. Okay, Panama is a type of a straw. It's a material. This is Panama straw, okay? So a hat can be this shape. It could be made out of Shantung straw, Sisal. It could be made out of Milan, Toyo, or Panama. What makes it a Panama hat? It has to be woven by hand in Ecuador, not Panama. They come from Ecuador. Now, <coughs> excuse me, why are they called Panama hats? Uh, because when we had the Panama Canal uh, open, the treaty and stuff, uh, our president came back from that wearing a Panama hat, which was a gift, probably from the guy from Ecuador and stuff. So they started calling them Panamas, Panama hats, because it was associated with that uh, event. Okay, how do you tell one? Okay, first of all, the rings. They're concentric. They start in the center, they weave out. Second of all, it'll almost always have some kind of a watermark inside, like a maker's mark. Generally, a typical Panama is going to have something branded inside, kind of like a, a burn, a little circular burn mark that says uh, genuine Panama or something. Let's see if I can find one you can read very well. Give me a second, yeah? All right, there's a good one you could read pretty well. It's clear. See that circle up there? Put my glasses on. Hold on. So handmade in Ecuador. Okay. That's the real deal. It's going to have that maker's mark. They burn it on. Now, that doesn't mean that it's expensive. You have Panama hats that are $30, $60, $100, $150, $200, $300, $1,000, $3,000. The difference generally is fineness of weave. The very, very expensive things are from a particular town called Monte Cristi. Not all Monte Cristis are good or expensive. The ones that are expensive are called Monte Cristi Finos, the fine quality Finos. How do you tell if it's a Fino or not? Okay, first of all, the edge. All Panama hats are gonna be cut, folded over, hemmed, and sewn like this. That's a typical Panama, okay? This hat could be whatever, anywhere from like I don't know, $30 to $250, $350 with that edge. More. $500 even. This is, okay, a $200 hat. It's grade 8 Panama, so it's pretty fine. All right. Monte Cristi does not have that kind of edge. Monte Cristi is woven by two people. Monte Cristi Fino, pardon me. A Fino, one person starts in the center, weaves all the way to the end. The second person finishes it. The second guy weaves it back into itself in a sort of a secret way that nobody knows how they do it except these guys okay so there is no seam there's no hem on the edge of a Monte Cristi they just finish it off by kind of folding it back onto itself all right now inside of a Monte Cristi Fino you're also going to see two signatures in ballpoint pen if it's the real deal all right one guy who wove it the other who finished it see him over there I know you see it. One, two, you see those? Could be pencil, it's generally ballpoint pen. I know you see one, two there, right? Okay. One guy just did the edge. That's a Monte Cristi feel. There is no hem there. Nothing. Okay. Now look. Are Monte Cristi Finos the best? No, they're not. Um, they're going to be tighter. 
tighter weave is gonna block out more lights okay so if you need a really tight weave to block out tons of light maybe you've had skin problems melanoma or issues with the sun this is going to be really tight it's also going to be expensive okay it's also going to keep out air so the tighter it is the more light is blocked the more air is blocked so a little bit cheaper weave is going to give you a little bit of airflow you see it might not be enough to burn you but You'll get more airflow in a cheaper hat because there's more holes in it. So think about that. Okay, here's another thing. Most people break hats right here because they put their hats down on the table. Every day they grab it right there. And after five years of that, they make cracks. So if your Panama has a pinch, I highly suggest getting it reinforced. Not everybody can reinforce their Panamas. This is patented. But... If you're doing any kind of a pinch front type of style, like this or something, you need that reinforcement, or make sure you keep your hat upside down or hung up. Upside down is better. If you leave it this way, you're gonna get cracks here from grabbing it. Or, get a reinforced Panama, or a round crown, like a pork pie, an Optimo like this. This is an Optimo shape. Optimos are meant to fold. So the idea is that, that that's a crease that you could fold it. Now, most Panamas are not foldable. They have a new type of weave now called a twisted Panama weave that you can fold that's inexpensive, like under 200. But generally, for a Panama to be foldable, it has to be this shape, Optimo, with the crease like this, the round shape, not the pinch front shape like I showed you before. And it has to be very fine, Monte Cristi Fino, uh, generally, no leather sweatbands. Um, you know, you should have a ribbon sweatband or cloth. So, you know, personally, I don't like rolling Panamas, but if you got to, that's what you got to fucking do. Uh, yeah, this is called the Optimo Teardrop Center Crease. Now, this is bleached. This is natural. What's the difference? All right. Natural, that's the color of the straw. They match up the straw. They match it up, and the ones that are really dark brown, they throw it away onto a different pile. So this costs a little bit more to make, just like a Monte Cristi Fino. It's matched. They get all the creamy stuff, and they match it. The stuff that's dark brown gets thrown into a separate pile, and they bleach it out, and they make this stuff. Now, the bleaching process also softens it. and makes it softer, more like... A $500 hat if it's a $250. So those bleached hats sometimes are semi-crushable or crushable when they're broken in a little bit more because they're softer and finer feeling. There's more stretch to them. So a bleached hat of the same price is going to give you usually more softness. Uh, they don't have to, to match the hat up too, so the, uh, the colors are not matched. It's also you get more bang for the buck. You get a better weave plus they're bleaching it all out. hat like this might feel a little stiffer for the same price. I like this stuff. It's very flexible. I don't really care about the color so much. Um, anyway, what else can I say about Panamas? Panama is one type of uh, straw. It's very elegant. It's hand-woven. It's organic looking. It's also very versatile. You can dress it up. You can also dress it down. But there are many straws. There are sisal, which is super light, but also super delicate. Uh, it does terrible in the rain, but it's the lightest of all straws. It's a great colored straw, though. What other straws are there? Um, there's coconut straw. There's palm straw. There's toyo, shantung, baku, uh, sisal, parasisal, parabuntal. Uh, I could go on and on. Milan straw, hemp, and uh, what's the other one? Raffia. That's a really good one. Raffia is a great straw. It's light, it's flexible, stretchy. Panama is going to be the one that's going to be the most bucks. So I personally don't believe in spending tons and tons of money, you know, $2,000, $3,000 for Panama hats. But if you're going to do something like that, I suggest going to somebody that is very reputable 
uh, getting some research done, ask some questions, um, and uh, don't blow your money uh, without looking at everybody's stuff first. Uh, so the prices for super fine Panamas are going up because the weaver's children are not getting into the craft and they're getting old and dying out. So what was a $750 hat uh, 20 years ago is now $1,200, etc., etc. You pay extra for wide brims, for open weave stuff with like leads and arrows and pictures woven into it, you know. Um, they're really cool. You grab them now because they're getting harder and harder to find. The super fine stuff with open weave work. We have some of those bodies unshaped that you can custom make into hats if you want to spend, you know, over a thousand of some real money on a custom Monte Cristi Fino. So um, we do have stuff like that. This is just a sample if you wonder why I'm roughing it up. It's kind of a sample. But um, yeah, this is about a $1,200 quality. You know, it's a, it's a serious hat. It's crushable. It's Monte Cristi Fino. It's got you know, good everything. You want something that's round, that's not awkward in shape, weird shape, a fine weave. You want good color, no flaws. Uh, something that snaps and stays snapped. Um, you also want something that has a good shape, that's uh, shaped well, it has an attractive block. You, know? you can take a beautiful body and just shape it really horribly. So, you know, there's a lot of factors. Um, the band is going to make a big deal. It's going to make a $1,000 hat look like a $60 hat if it's done wrong. So, there's a lot of things. You might have a hat you just need a little spruced up. Let us know. We could put a new band on it. Custom band, $30. Clip-on band is $10. So, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Um, be well. It's almost 2,800 subscribers now, so... If you haven't subscribed to my show, um, I wouldn't mind if you press that subscribe thing right down below. Uh, you won't get like junk mail or anything. You'll just get my videos up on your YouTube on the top of the screen when I make a new one. So if you want that, press subscribe and you'll also support the show and keep the channel coming. You know, keep us around a little longer. So thanks.